Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this will be your weekly read. I'm going to do a collective reading this week. Um, I really need to recharge, so that's why I'm choosing to do this this week. So this will be for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is for the week of May 30th through June the 6th. Okay. And I'll be back Tuesday with the daily read as usual. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like the um, collective readings that I do on the weekend, I will be pulling one card per zodiac sign. All right, so let's let's see what messages we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May 30th to June the 6th. Okay. We have Master Healing. So let's read what we have for Master Healing. Gemini, it says, As you meditate, remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path. You become an increasingly powerful healer. You are here to live your own life, to be true to what genuinely moves you. This unconditionally, unconditionally loving God and ascending master, Serapis Bay, comes to you now with a blessing of Matt with a blessing of master healing to further your success on your path okay so let's see what messages we have for libra what messages for guidance do we have for libra some on right and venus okay we're gonna take the one that fell we have al alchemical mutation Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aquarius? All right, we have grounding. So Aquarius, I feel like this week you need to be grounded. Let's see what we got. You long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world, to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. All right. So the underlying message or the underlying energy is initiation by air. That means you need to clear your thoughts this week. We also have power of the divine masculine. For a lot of you guys, this is about really taking action um, with what you believe. Okay, keeping a clear head, a uh, head free of mental cruelty. So let's see what messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 30th. May the 30th through June the 6th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 30th. May the 31st. June the 1st. June the 2nd. June the 3rd. Yeah. June the 4th. June the 5th and June the 6th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday, Gemini. All right, so we have the Six of Wands as underlying energy. This is about either your pride or you being in the space of moving toward victory for yourself. So you could be in the space of winning, um, really feeling as though you're in, on the right path hmm, starting off shaky there seven of swords so seven of swords usually represents deception it can also represent envy it can represent unstable choices um three of swords seven of swords and three of swords is the end of something so i feel like for a lot of you guys moving forward will bring you what it is that you desire or bring you victory but you first must embrace the end of a difficult situation some of you guys are either heartbroken by a lie or you're severing a unstable or deceptive situation or deceptive connection. All right. We have the seven of pentacles here. I feel like there's some you're making some decisions to move forward this week. Someone's deciding to move forward.
because they're unhappy or there's someone's in a space of feeling hurt um this could be like heartbreak this could be like um someone that is feeling some sort of emotional loss could also be in a space of needing to fill your own cup um really letting anything that is not relevant i'm guessing at this time kind of fall to the wayside all right so we have the eight of cups here um i feel like for a lot of you guys someone is walking away someone's in a space of really moving away from um a difficult again a difficult situation and we saw ten swords in the beginning when i pulled up that seven and three of swords so we have it again here some of you guys are walking away from a situation embracing the end of difficulties um really kind of letting go seven of one standing up for what you believe i feel like you're on the defense here um so some of you guys could have to fight or escape from this situation like really sever something knight of swords here could be an argument could be a fight but feel like you're in the space of moving forward here, Emperor here, setting the boundaries that are necessary in order for you to move toward a potential new opportunity or move toward new happiness within your life. For some of you guys, this happiness may be the fact that you're moving away from something that was once ten swords so difficult. Or for some of you guys, this could just be freedom. Could be another person as well or another situation. Let's not discount that. All right. So, Seven of Swords. Let's see why we got that Seven of Swords there. Why is the Seven of Swords here first card out? We got the Magician here. So, somebody's lying. Magician, Three of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Yep, somebody's lying. And I feel like you feel heartbroken about that. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles here and the uh, Ten of Pentacles here, someone either didn't see the value of investing or someone didn't see the value of the commitment that was made. So, this could be someone that could or someone could have done some research about something that they were committed to and realized that either it was a lie or again ten swords here with the seven of swords again three of swords here as well again we got that twice so there's definitely some sort of lie that breaks someone's heart someone was very manipulative so i feel like someone's in the space of wanting to put an end to a situation because of that okay so we got the three of swords here why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here? Okay, we have the knight of swords with the five of swords. Yeah, so someone, I feel like someone uh, was kind of acting impulsively and made an unwise decision. And I do feel like with the three of swords, there's some heartbreak that's associated with that. Five pentacles underneath here. I feel like someone feels at a lack or feels without four pentacles here. Could still be holding on or holding back. Um, for a lot of you guys, someone feel like they made an unwise decision. I feel like someone could, you could be holding on to an earth sign here. Queen of pentacles here could be dealing with some lack around that situation. That's nine pentacles here. So I feel like someone's not confident in moving toward their desires so someone's holding back and i feel like it's creating a heartbreak or that's what is breaking someone's heart because they had to hold back um and they feel like either defeated by that or conflicted by that so someone may be in a space of now creating some some sort of backbone within themselves because there's movement that's happening here and maybe looking at a situation more sensibly or in a that's right. More sensibly. Fuck it. You know what I mean. So seven, seven of Pentacles here. I feel like someone is at a temporary delay. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? We have the Page of Wands. The Sun card with the Devil card. So someone here. I feel like someone is really gaining some sort of clarity on what is truly within their desires. Um, not a source, even though there is some anxiety here, someone is in a space of resisting that anxiety. Eight of Pentacles um, with the Ten of Wands. Someone is working on releasing some burden. So there is some anxiety. Someone is trying to overcome that. Um, seeing very clearly that something may be within a negative vibration. I feel like someone is identifying. Or, okay. Or, excuse me, somebody may be receiving some good news about an investment that they made because there could be some clear, like either someone has clarity that they're just dealing with their own fears um, and that whatever they manifested has come into fruition because this could be a manifestation coming. But for a lot of you guys, you could be in a space of feeling or really feeling passionate about a situation that you've invested in, seeing clearly that it may be within low vibration or it may be a uh 3d type of connection when we say 3d that's like uh connections that are based in 
money or lust or something like that. So I feel like with that strength card underneath there and that uh, Seven of Pentacles, someone is finding the strength to really allow something else to blossom um, because there's a lot of regret in not being able to fulfill either their emotions or fulfill a cup, whether it be their own. Why is this five of cups here? Judgment. Mm-hmm. With the two of wands here and the six of cups. So I feel like someone's at a crossroads, uh, maybe even dealing with something of the past. I feel like with this five of cups, someone is dealing with some regret. Someone is dealing with some emotional loss by the decision that needs to be made. Um, but page of cups under here, page of swords. I feel like the delay is someone was in a space of not trusting what they felt. I feel like someone knows for sure now. There's an awareness, judgment, there's an awakening. So someone is realizing why they are dealing with the regrets or why they're feeling the way they're feeling. Maybe because that lie, three of swords, seven of swords that we saw earlier, that heartbreaking um, deception. Maybe that is bringing the clarity, making someone more aware of maybe them needing to nurture their own cup or to nurture something that they may have felt they have already lost. All right. So we have the eight of cups here. I do feel like someone is walking away. Five of Cups was underneath that as well. So someone is definitely feeling some regret or a change in emotions. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Set, uh, eight of Cups here. I feel like someone is in the space of wanting to, like wanting to elevate emotionally, meaning they want something more than what they have. Ten Cups here. Yeah, that's definitely elevation going from the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Someone is searching for true happiness, true contentment. And I feel like someone is really on a new path in alignment with going toward that. I feel like someone is wanting a, a relationship, a deeper relationship, a real relationship. Um, and I feel like even if they're not actually moving toward the relationship right now, someone's in the space of really kind of reflecting on past issues reflecting on what was seeing the clarity that maybe the situations that they have been dealing with were either material based less based or just codependent so someone could be in a space of wanting to move forward wanting to really um elevate so that they can bring in true happiness true companionship true you know everything ten of cups is like i say i think i said before ten of cups well, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles together, that's like, you know, legacy love. That's like sitting on the porch drinking, you know, sweet tea and lemonade. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like someone just wants to be happy. So someone's in alignment with walking away from a situation in order to obtain that happiness. Ten Swords here. And that's a, listen, that is a hard decision to make. This is, that is like something that a lot of people have a hard time doing and that is walking away from it even if you, someone is unhappy and has been unhappy for years it is hard as hell for a person to pick up and make a complete change to their life in order to go after something that they're not even 100 percent sure that they'll get but that is the that is the lesson that is the the key to to you manifesting happiness you have to be able to trust that when you're moving yourself out of a low negative vibration or a bad situation just say bad when you're moving yourself out of a bad situation you have to be in 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 high vibration and in faith that you're moving into something better and not afraid of holding on to something that is keeping you stuck so ten of swords here with the world card someone's embracing the end of a difficult situation really allowing a cycle to complete new beginning here i told you so someone is moving in a new direction new beginning king of cups ready to extend their energy forth someone else may be involved here too so we have the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here we have the hangman here with the chariot i feel like someone's resisting um sacrificing so someone could have been sacrificing moving forward eight of wands could have been sacrificing we got scorpio energy here we got um cancerian energy here i feel like there's a lot of resistance someone is really standing up for what they believe is right someone could have made some sort of proposal some sort of plan previously and that is like to an end something is changing um, I feel like there's some adjustments move, moving forward so someone can create a new path for themselves. And it's, I'm going to be real with you, it's leading to victory. All right, so I'm going to just turn these two around. We got the Knight of Swords here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? All right, so let's read these first. We have the Nine of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like someone's finding the courage to make positive changes moving forward. 
Yeah, Three of Cups, Three of Wands, really in alignment with moving toward abundance, with manifesting new ships. King of Cups here with the Emperor. This is a masculine energy that is in a space of moving forward. So if you're the masculine energy, you're in a space of moving forward, really wanting to open yourself up to really choosing happiness. Not saying that you're 100% sure that you're even making the right decision, but Seven of Cups, I do feel like you're seeing sort of through the fog, like lifting the veil, you're starting to understand that you can manifest these things by taking the steps necessary in order to open yourself up to them. Um, I do, Like I said, I do feel like this is a masculine energy. If you are a feminine energy, this could be happening to someone that you're with. Um, I don't know, you know, it's just what's happening. So we have the emperor here, Aries energy. Why is this emperor here? We got the seven of cups. Yeah, so I feel like someone here, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, that's Eight Cups. Someone's walking away here, Queen of Swords here, making a decision to cut away something that they weren't so were committed to, going from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. Someone is in a space of gaining their independence so that Three of Pentacles, they can put things in motion because someone is unhappy with a previous decision. Someone is living with regret. So someone made a decision previously. They're unhappy about that. They're wanting to make a change to move forward towards something that does make them happy. Committing to happiness, I feel, or just committing to freeing themselves from maybe something that was a burden or something that was hard, difficult, difficult. I feel like there's a new opportunity here, whether this is an actual person or this is just the energy of moving into a new life. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? We have the star energy here with the two of cups. Some of you guys, you could have found the one. Two of cups, star energy. That's the one. Knight of cups here. Could be an offer being made. Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy here. Knight of swords. Someone's coming in fast. I feel like someone's coming in fast wanting something to start. Someone's wish fulfillment is happening. So I do feel like whatever movement you're making forward is going to ultimately give you what you want. All right. So let's get some guidance moving forward. We're going to use the Ascending Masters for this week. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, and Rising Venus. Like in the daily reads, I will pull one for each card for each uh, zodiac sign. Give me one for Gemini, Sun, and Rising Venus moving forward. We got persistence. So Gemini, I feel like right now you just need to be persistent and stand on the right course. They got to take charge of the situation. So there may be something that you're needing to take charge of, especially in regards to spiritual law of attraction. Okay. Messages for Libra. We got fertility, clear and share your energy, and find the blessings in your current situation. So something could definitely be growing for you. And right now, I feel like you need to be very protective of your energy. Really be grateful for the things that have um, been drawn to you. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there may be something that you're needing to, something or someone that you're needing to clear away. Also, look into being able to express yourself um, more than just verbally, like or physically, we, we ain't talking about no fighting. But I mean, like, put put it in poetry, or you know, use it like as motivation to do something, or you know, paint or something. What messages? Okay. So Aquarius, we got choose peace right now. I feel like you need to be in a space of just choosing peace. Um, all of my air signs, listen, listen to your intuition and listen to the messages and the synchronicities that you are receiving. This is all I have, y'all. Until next time.